Hello, good afternoon, it's 2.20 p.m. This is part two of my part one message to my mother, Evelyn Feliciano. To Evelyn, you left your husband from Juncos, Puerto Rico. You left the grandma, the grandma in custody of your, of your child. Um, hold on. Knowing how you are, they never, they, they ask you nicely that if they could stay with a child. You never call him at least a week, on a weekly basis. If he comes to visit and you are not motherly at all, my father and grandparents are the ones who usually sends him money or gives him money. When he goes visits us in New York, it, when we go visit him over there, it's very brief to take photos only. You never take us out to a restaurant, to the movies, to the mall. Nothing, no, no family time. Just us, immediate family. It's always with a big group of my dad's family. You don't do vacations or anything. You criticize all of his girlfriends. He got into a real bad accident while younger. He needed surgery and a plate was inserted around his kneecap. And you did not even, you did not even go see him. At an old age, he goes to New York and stays with his female friend. Then he comes stays with us and you are really nasty to him. Sometimes he comes unannounced and stays somewhere else and you are so cold about it. And always criticizing, always in a bad attitude, in a bad manner. Um, last time, the last time he came to New York, you were really nasty with him and really grotesque. And I had no choice to ask my grandma we could take him to the airport right away so he could go home. So he won't put up with your nonsense. And that's what we did. And then to this day you blame me that he doesn't speak to you because I, that I did it to you. Because I, I, I'm the one that, that, that started the, the, the habit. I always get blamed for everything. Like I'm a problem child. I'm not a problem child. And then the next one, part three, my brother, my brother, my dad's son, you hate him. All you do is talk nasty about him and say he has an attitude problem and sometimes give me, give my dad problems about it. But then you want to act so nice to him. It's really offensive when he came to New York before I flew out with him to Puerto Rico and you buy him real cheap clothes because you think he is a hick from Puerto Rico. Or treat him like a second a second, or third class citizen. No dinners, no going to Manhattan to see the Empire State Building, to see the, the Broadway. To, you don't do anything nice. She then threw him out. Then she threw out, she stole, she stole or uh, threw out my chap, Ralph Lauren, chap was popular back in there when I needed eyeglasses, my first eyeglasses, Ralph Lauren eyeglasses my dad brought me, and then you blame it on my brother that he stole them when we went to Six Flags or Dorney Park that he stole my eyeglasses. You always want me to hate him and you always want us to be, well not, uh, talking to each other, each other's enemies. Part four, you treat your grandson like shit. Because of you, we miss holidays, birthdays, milestones, graduations, and much more with him. Every time he comes to New York, all you say is I don't have no money. He's coming for, for money or for me to buy him something. His mom is the slickest person in the world. All she wants is money. She's money hungry. She's money hungry. And she trained the kids to be money hungry. He's your grandchild. You didn't even care to put him in a private school or anything. All you want is us to be losers in life. Over my dead body, we will be losers. I will never ever allow none of them to be losers or myself a loser. You a loser.